Hey everybody, this week let's talk about my 2018 Gibson Les Paul Faded. Hey everybody, before we get started, just a reminder to like and subscribe down below. So if you follow my channel for a while, you'll realize that I'm a Fender guy. I've got multiple Telecasters, I've got Jazzmasters, I've got Stratocasters. Yeah, some of them might have Warmoth bodies, but for the most part, I'm a Fender guy. That said, a few months ago, I thought, you know, maybe it's good to have some humbuckers for the channel. I'd be able to demo some pedals with maybe some different style guitars. I've got Jazzmaster pickups, Tele pickups, Strat pickups. Humbuckers were just the logical next choice. This was also right around the time Epiphone released their Inspired by Gibson line. So I really wanted to check those out as well as take a look at the secondary market. The price point on the Epiphones really weren't that great. I didn't really want to buy something brand new. So secondary market was kind of what I was looking for. I went on, typed in Les Paul and a ton of stuff came up. Um, obviously a lot of Epiphones, but also some Gibsons. And in one case, a Gibson where the price point was pretty incredible. Enter this guy. It's a 2018 Les Paul Faded. So it was only about a year and a half old when I bought it. So the Les Paul Fadeds were actually Gibson's attempt at putting a low priced Gibson Les Paul on the market just below the Les Paul Studios. Something that you could get for I think about $900 US at the time. They only ran this I think for two years, 2017 and 2018. And it was kind of one of those things that they didn't really put all the appointments on it that you might get in a standard USA Gibson guitar, but it would at least give you the Gibson pickups and kind of that Gibson look and feel. Now this one is a faded cherry red. They also came in a walnut color that was also pretty cool. And the appointments are pretty simple. You've got your Gibson 490R and 490T pickups. You've got your standard tone and volume knobs, obviously your rhythm and treble switch. And um, as for the neck, it's pretty much just a slim C neck, which is something that I really liked coming from Fender guitars. And then lastly, you've got your Gibson Deluxe Vintage Style Tuners. When I purchased this guitar, it looked a little bit different, and maybe a lot different. Uh, for one thing, it had a black and red color scheme. So you can think it had black pickup covers, a black pick guard, and I believe it was also black speed knobs. Also, the pickups were uncovered as well. It didn't have these chrome covers on the 490R and 490T pickups. To that, I changed some stuff out on this guitar. Nothing too crazy, all pretty much cosmetic. Uh, you can see on the back, the back covers, I changed those to cream, as well as the pick guard and the pickup covers. Uh, I changed the knobs from your standard black speed knobs to the more conventional gold knobs. I added the rhythm and treble ring around here that did not exist. And that's in cream as well. And then changed that uh, pickup selector switch knob to cream. So pretty much I just changed the color scheme on this. Um, the other major thing that I had to do that really changed the look and feel of this guitar was adding those chrome pickup covers. So I didn't swap out any pickups or anything like that, but I did pull the pickups out and put on these chrome covers that I got from Next Gen Guitars in Canada. So in the end, I think it looks pretty great. Uh, it looks a lot more like a Gibson that you would get off the shelf and it's really close to what a Gibson Studio would look like. Uh, I think adding the pickup covers or kind of the major thing here, once I changed that, the whole guitar looked different. And really, like I said, it looks like a Les Paul Studio, save for the uh, inlays on the fretboard. Uh, they're just dot inlays instead of parallelograms, but nonetheless, I think it looks pretty cool. All this being said, this guitar is on its way out. I've had it for a little less than a year and I really tried to give Gibson, you know, a good shake, but for me, it's just that I'm a, I'm a Fender guy. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the guitar. The neck is straight, it plays great. I, I do like the pickups, but you know, it's just the look and feel. I think I'd rather have a Fender, like maybe a Tele Deluxe if I wanna get humbuckers or maybe just something with one humbucker in the neck or something like that. I don't think I need the full Gibson treatment. So before this one gets packed up and shipped away, I figured I'd at least give you a sound check so you could see what this sounded like. Hopefully you enjoy it. This is a 2018 Gibson Les Paul Faded.
Hopefully you guys liked that demo of this 2018 Les Paul Faded. I wanted to give you that demo before I ship this one away. That's all for this week. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.